What is up, bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher, and welcome to another episode of Versus. Today, we've got a really amazing episode of Versus, and it's thanks to you guys, because on the last video, I asked what you guys wanted to see for the next episode of Versus, and everyone really wanted to see the HVR versus the Mac Tab 45, aka the UMP 45 that we've seen so many times before in other Call of Duty games. Now, this is a really, really good matchup. You guys picked a really good combination of weapons, because this one is really close and it really does come down to the wire. So we're going to be looking at all of the stats today, damage, rate of fire, all of that great stuff to find out which one of these is a better weapon to make you a better Call of Duty player. Before we get into the stats though, I just wanted to say if you guys enjoy this type of video, like the Versus series and want to see more, the way to show me is by hitting that like button. It's always very greatly appreciated. And also next week we're going to be doing a Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered version of Versus. So let me know down in the comments section below what weapon you want to see for that uh, one I saw in the last video was the M4 versus the G36 uh, I think that would be a pretty good matchup but let me know what you'd want to see down in the comment section below but without further ado let's get looking at these stats so to start out the damage profiles so damage profile the damage profile is really the reason that this one is so hard to call it, it's really hard for me to decide which one of these damage profiles is better because we can start by looking at the HVR the HVR is a 3 to a 6 bullet kill so up close you deal 34 damage and at long range you deal 19 damage and then there's ranges in between whereas the Bictav or the UMP I'm just going to call it the UMP throughout the rest of the video the UMP deals 30 to 23 damage which means you are looking at a 4 to a 5 bullet kill so whereas the HVR you're able to get that 3 bullet kill up close at long range you drop off to 6 bullets to kill whereas the Mctav or the UMP you got a 4 to 5 bullets to kill you can't get that 3 bullet kill but that being said you will never drop off to the 6 bullets to kill so which one is better I don't really know. There is no real way to say which one is actually better in this case because each have their pros and cons. One of them, you get one less bullet to kill up close. One of them, it's one less bullet to kill at long range. So I'm not going to give out any points for the damage profiles. They're very different, but at the same time, they create this really great difference between the two weapons. So we may not be able to give out any points for damage. However, the range is a very, very different story. So as far as the HVR goes, you drop off from the three to a four bullet to kill at five meters a 4 to a 5 bullet kill at 18 meters and a 5 to a 6 bullet kill at 24 meters so not very long ranges there however when we look at the McTav or the UMP it drops from that 4 to a 5 bullet kill at about 24 meters so there is a long range a really really long range where you actually get that 4 bullet kill and then even after that you're never going to drop off to that 6 bullet kill that the HVR has so the range is definitely better on the UMP UMP. There is no question in my mind the UMP has a better range and for that it's going to get plus one point and take the lead. Next up we've got rate of fire and both of these weapons actually considering their damage profiles have pretty good rates of fire. The HVR has a rate of fire of 766 RPM. By the way these are hand tested. I had to get these numbers so they're not directly from the game code so they might be a little bit off once all the stats from the game code come out but they should be pretty damn close to these numbers whereas the UMP has a fire rate of 685 rpm so very clearly this is better for that hvr therefore it gets one point and ties it up so time to kill time to kill is where this gets really really confusing between these two weapons because if we're looking at them just as a comparison the hvr has a much 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 better time to kill up until 18 meters however after those 18 meters the UMP or McTav has a much, much, much better time to kill. So it's really hard to decide which one of these is actually better. Now the thing that I will say is for an SMG, the UMP up close has an abysmal time to kill. It is very, very slow time to kill for an SMG up close. However, it excels at long ranges. The question is here, how often are you getting into long range gunfights with the UMP? Because if you're only getting into short range gunfights with both of these weapons, the HVR is going to perform better. However, if you're only using these and getting in long range gunfights, the McTav is going to perform much, much better. So once again, I'm not going to give out any 
points for this. Personally, if it was up to me and we weren't talking about direct numbers, I think I'd give the time to kill to the HVR simply because with these weapons I find myself getting into close range gunfights most of the time. But that is very, very hard to decide and you can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. So the plot continues to thicken here when we look at the rest of the stats for these weapons. First off, the aim down sights time for both of these weapons is exactly identical at 0.23 seconds. The reload speed is exactly identical at 2.1 seconds. Do you see a trend here? These, these weapons are very, very similar. The one stat that we haven't talked about that I can give out points for though, however, is the magazine size. So the magazine size for the HVR is only 26 rounds. That's an incredibly small magazine, whereas the McTav or the UMP has a 32 round magazine. Now, that doesn't seem like a big deal, but the matter of fact is that the HVR actually has a faster rate of fire, which means you're going to go through bullets faster, which also means that you will be going through your clip extremely fast compared to the McTav because you have a faster rate of fire and a smaller magazine. So that's actually a pretty bad thing for the HVR. So the UMP is going to get plus one point for that. So as you can see, the numbers have spoken and the winner this week is, I guess, the UMP. And I say, I guess, because I disagree with that. This is the first time ever throughout the Versus series. This has gone on through Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and now Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. And this is the first time that this has ever happened where we get an answer that says this weapon is better and I disagree with it. I actually think that the HVR is a better weapon. And hear me out. Let me explain why I say that. So the HVR has this area up close, up until 18 meters, where it has an exceptional time to kill. It's really good, even compared to other weapons other than the UMP. Whereas when we look at the UMP, it's an example of one of these weapons that just has really, really average stats in every single situation. It has an average damage profile, an average fire rate, an average aim down sights time, an average reload speed. Everything about it is as average as it gets. And because of that, in this format that we've created, for versus it wins because every single stat is average whereas when we look at the HVR it's exceptional up close but bad at other areas and that's why it lost because of those areas it's bad at so if you take the HVR and limit your playstyle to only getting into up close gunfights it will outgun the UMP and be a better weapon it's just a matter of navigating the map so you're only in those situations and that's why I think the HVR is a better weapon however the numbers support the UMP being a better weapon so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it up to you guys down in the comment section below let me know which weapon you actually think is better not based on the numbers not based on what you heard today but based based on you playing the game. Which weapon do you think is better? And I'm gonna be really interested to see what you guys say down below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, it would be fantastic if you'd hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, you may wanna hit that subscribe button. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week and that red subscribe button is sitting there with your name on it. But if you like what you see, you can check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Let's Play channel down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, peace out. Thank you.